Dana Mark, a dairy inspector with the Minnesota Department of Agriculture. And I'm here at the Kemp's milk plant today to do a plant inspection. Just like at the farm, sanitation and construction of equipment at a milk bottling plant is very important. Inspectors begin where bottles and other ingredients come into the plant and follow the milk through the process. Uh, these bottles are going to be finished product and I want to make sure that they're handled correctly and there's no problem with any contamination. They're going to go right from here to a filling machine and then they'll be sold. The most important part of a milk bottling or processing plant is the milk pasteurizer. Pasteurization is the process of heating milk a set temperature for a specific time period to kill off any bacteria or organisms. Milk pasteurization is important for a number of reasons. And uh, the first issue is uh, public health. And uh, consuming raw milk uh, in some cases uh, can be directly tied to illness. In a pasteurizer, milk passes over a heat exchanger and brought up to the proper temperature and held there for a period of time to kill any harmful organisms. The temperature needs to be maintained for the entire time period for the pasteurization process to be effective. These heat and time requirements are very specific. These standards are set by scientists and federal food safety agencies. After the allotted time, the temperature is again checked to make sure the milk was kept at the proper temperature throughout the process. If too low, the milk is pumped back to start the process over. If everything checks out okay, the milk is cooled and sent to storage tanks to be used or bottled. MDA inspectors not only visually check to make sure all equipment is working properly, but they also do testing to verify the accuracy of the plant's equipment and how it's used when they aren't there. The inspector looks through data from the plant to verify that what the plant workers say they're doing is what actually goes on. A significant part of our inspection process is verifying the accuracy of the equipment uh, that's involved in pasteurization. And uh, this includes thermometers, uh, it includes uh, sensors for uh, wrong pasteurized sides of the heat, heat exchanger, uh, it includes timing for the pasteurizing system to make sure the holding time is correct. So uh, we'll, we'll spend a significant amount of that inspection time doing just that and only that so that we can take our time, uh, make sure we do a thorough job. After testing, MDA inspectors place a seal on all of the devices to prevent any tampering. The inspection process continues into the bottling room where inspectors monitor filling machines. Uh, looking for uh, a proper seal and I'm looking for general machine cleanliness. There shouldn't be any uh, milk splash or uh, grease or anything that doesn't really belong in there. And uh, once we get to the end of the line there, I'll inspect the start seals. Again, from beginning to end, inspectors follow the dairy products from raw goods to finished food. The Department of Ag's uh, program, as it relates to this grade A plant, is vital. And uh, there is a lot of milk that comes through here. Uh, we follow that milk from farm to silo to out the door and cool it. And uh, I think that it's, uh, uh, it's very important that there's uh, local inspection and that uh, we do a nice job here. It's a reflection of uh, what they try to do at the plant. Uh, we try to help out uh, wherever we can with their quality products. 